everyone. I'm Wendell. Here's the joke for today. What did one leaf say to the other leaf? Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> I don't get it. One day, identical twin brothers Chad and Bunny Owens decided that they wanted to create their very own television show. But what would it be about, and what would they call it? After many hours of debate, they finally created the perfect show. Now all they had to do was pitch it to the networks. Chad and Bunny hit the road and pitched their show to other networks. Get out! <laughs> they even tried public access. <laughs> <laughs> After being rejected and ejected by network after network, Chad and Bunny laid on the ground when suddenly a hand appeared and said, We want you on my NBTV, and somebody else does too. We want you on the Monster Channel. So Chad and Bunny finally found a home for their unusual comedy show, and it's my NBTV and the Monster Channel. Never eaten so much in my life. I know, right? Is, oh, you know, Aunt Bertha's fruitcake. Turkey and, and gravy and cranberries and oh, 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 okay. oh. hey guys! Uh, yeah, Bill. Mm. We're rolling. Oh, okay. we're on again. Hi, everybody. Uh, Welcome back to the Chad, Chad and, Bunny and Bunny Show. show. <laughs> I'm so tired oh, and full. Oh, ate God. so much. Well, oh yeah, we we. You know what we need? What? We need some of that bunny's wine. The boxed wine. We need to take this. You know what? Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Get, get the box. Get the box. That'll clear us out. Yeah, get the box. Oh, here it is. Put it up. Bunny's boxed wine. Other side. Chardonnay. Oh, there you go. There's the logo. You don't rehearse this stuff. You tell me what, what I'm doing wrong. To? I held up the logo and you told me it's the wrong side. Well, of course it's the wrong side. Oh, Look at the new right. ones. Okay. okay. Other one, the blue one. All right. Oh my God. There you oh, go. See, that's why we don't rehearse because we're full. All right. So yeah, pour us a glass real quick. We got a. We, you got one. There's nothing coming out. That's coming out. You can see it. A little bit for me. Give me. Oh gosh. Oh so man. Yeah, give me that. Yeah, a little bit. I got. It, I got. It, I got it. Not too much. <laughs> Not too much. A little bit for me. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Um. Oh. Um. We should be feeling better in no time. Yeah. In, in fact, if we count down, I'm sure we can do it. Ready? Five. Four. Four. Three. Two. One. Uh, All right. We'll be right back, folks. Oh, oh. so much better you know Ooh. at bunny's box colon blow really did the trick took a load off yeah oh god took more than a load it took several <laughs> loads off <laughs> oh boy okay well this um if you don't know is our after thanksgiving episode what a good time yeah i mean we were feeling bloated totally run down because we ate so much food so much i mean here's the funny thing the entire owens family um, an extended family, that's cousins, nephews, aunts, uncles. Everybody was there. Second cousin, step people, adopted, um, um, people we find on the street, hobos, um, who else? Oh, boy. 
Yeah, and then other people. Um, so they all came. We there were a, a lot of people there. Yeah, we had a huge Thanksgiving get together in a big mansion. Yeah, in our mansion, and everything was going perfectly and smoothly until bum, bum, bum. Bunny decided to, that we should all toast with his box wine. No, Fred. No, you don't stuff Ann's berries into that. You stuff that into Ann's berries. Um, oh, okay, folks. We're getting ready to toast. So, happy Thanksgiving! Wait, no. Bunny, did you serve everyone your box wine? No, Bunny, you were supposed to serve the champagne now and your wine after we ate dinner. You know, a full meal, You then that's the wine. Oh. oh, great. Now everyone's going to be rushing to use the bathroom. Oh, well, thank goodness that we have a lot of them here in our mansion. You moron. Big mistake. Yeah, you, you, we're supposed to drink that after, after we eat, dinner. Not before. Mm. So suffice to say, folks, for the for one hour, um, we were hitting the toilets hard. I mean, thank God we live in a mansion because we got hundreds of toilets there. We had a timeout. Yeah, for about an hour. Before yeah. dinner. Yeah, so everybody got their, well, so I guess maybe it wasn't such a bad idea because everybody got their colons clean. You could eat more. So right, they could shove more food in their mouth. We ate right. a lot. Yes, we did. And um, so, yeah, you know, we, we had a good time. So finally, after all was said and done, dinner was absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Our cousin and chef, uh, Fred Turkey, made uh, a huge feast for us. Fred Turkey? Yeah, Fred That's Turkey. Not Fred Turkey. Yeah, he's our cousin. Uh, oh. Yeah, God, sorry, no. Fred. Yeah. I mean, just so happens he's a turkey. Making um, fun of our cousin. I'm sorry. I'm not making fun. He's a turkey. I was. Oh, you were. Give me a point. Oh, boo on you, Bunny. Boo on you. And see, this is why Bunny gets picked on at home sometimes. Let's get on with it. Yeah. Well, anyway. Or is it anyways? No, it's anyway. There's no S. Um, I always wonder that. Um, so after dinner, while well, we were in the living room, two, count them, two bombshells were dropped on us. I mean, that was just totally amazing. Now, folks, um, this news is going to shock you. I mean... Groundbreaking. If, yeah, if you've never had your top popped, I suggest you get all of your ketchup caps tightly secured, because when you hear this, you will be amazed. I only know half the story right now. You do? You, you should Half the story. Oh, you do. Right. No. Well, okay. So I'm ready for that. Yeah. But but first, I've got this question that's been nagging at me for oh I don't know years. Okay. Um. Wait. Where's that sheet? I know I got it written. I thought I had it written down somewhere, but maybe. If I you don't. would rehearse, you have. I don't need to you rehearse. A script. You know what you're doing. What do you mean? We don't do scripts. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Since, okay. Well, right. here's the question that's been nagging. What's me. your question? Okay. You know our aunt, right? Hmm? Okay. Our one. Well, one of our aunts. We got like hundreds. Of them. Okay. Well, one of our aunts. Um, she married a guy named Bob. Bob? Right. Well, I know Bob. Yeah. So Bob became our uncle. Yes. That line, like, and now Bob's your uncle. Woohoo! Uncle Bob. Right. Okay. Now, you know Uncle Bob and our aunt had two kids. Yeah. Then those are our cousins. Two cousins. Right. Now, you know... You're about to blow the story. You're blo you're going to blow the bombshell. No, that's not the bombshell. Okay. No, that's later. Okay. Or earlier, whenever. You're, you're confusing me. <laughs> okay. Now, you remember that our aunt and... Uncle Bob got divorced. Yes. Okay. Does that make Bob still our uncle? Yes. Still a family member. Even though they're divorced? Yeah, it's family. It's family. Okay, so Uncle Bob is still our Uncle Bob? Uncle Bob. Okay. Now, you remember that our aunt remarried. Now, uncle Neil's not our cousin anymore. Who's Uncle Neil? Neil and Bob. Bob and Neil? Neil and Bob. Bobby Neil? They're their boyfriends now. Oh, <laughs> yes they are. Well, good on you guys. Good on you, Bob but and Neil. Neil yeah. and Bob. Neil and Bob. All okay, right, well, you gotta cut that one out. <laughs> no, it's too late. Well, right. thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. Um, okay, you know our aunt remarried. Yes. Is Bob still our uncle? Uncle Bob. Is he still our Uncle Bob? Yes, he's still our Uncle Bob. He's a family member. No, he's not. Aunt is our family member. Remember, our aunt married Bob. Mm. Bob became okay. our uncle. Whatever you want it to be. Go ahead. Well, I'm asking you. Okay, he's not our uncle. Go ahead. He's not? No, that's what you wanted. Go ahead. No, I didn't want that. I just wanted to... Okay, he is our uncle then. Okay. So she married another guy. Okay. Paul. Uncle Paul. So now we have Uncle Paul and Uncle Bob. Uncle, Bob. uncle Neil, Uncle Bob, Uncle Paul. 
Neil and Bob. And Neil and Bob are together. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, I'm confused. Now That's we know so... that he, Bob, is the par- is the father of our two cousins. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now you remember, our aunt passed away. Yes. Which was sad. She died. She's not our aunt anymore. And does that make Bob still our uncle? Well, I was just playing off of you because like she's she's not alive anymore, so she's not our aunt anymore. She's still our aunt. Wait, she's still our aunt in yes. the spiritual sense. Yes. Does that make Paul our uncle still? Yes. But he's the stepdad of our two cousins. Once you're a family member, you're always a member. Oh, really? Yes. So in the legal strictness sense of things, is Paul still our uncle? Does Paul have any money? Yes, he does. But he's our uncle. <laughs> he's our uncle. Oh, that's how it works. If you have money, you're still a relative. Okay. All right. I was I was wondering about that. Cause, Get you know, it? Get cause, it? Because somebody said Bob wasn't our uncle anymore. And then the fact that our aunt died... That said that Paul was no longer our uncle. So, hey, Uncle Bob, Uncle Paul, um, yeah, we, we need a little um, financial stability over mm-hmm. here at the station. So, you know, I think we got an inheritance coming. We sure do. We sure do. We sure okay. do. Well, that solves the question. That was the dilemma I was wondering about. Okay, well, uh, we got an interesting show today, I think. <sighs> this was a long intro. one. <laughs> yeah, this was a long intro. So. Woo. Sorry, Mr. Jerry. I know how you hate the chit-chat. I don't know where you're headed with this. All right. Well, we'll be right back <laughs> after these brief announcements and specials and commercials and whatnot. We'll be back. Hi, folks. Chad Owens here for Ann's Berry Cereal. Now... The other day, Anne stopped over, and while I was busy eating her berries, and oh man, they were delicious, she told me that the wine she was drinking was delicious. I immediately got up and asked her, did the wine she was drinking taste like chicken? No sooner did she say yes than she was off to the bathroom, restroom, toilet, whatever you call it. It seems she was drinking some of Bunny's boxed wine colon cleaner. Um, Well, an hour later, when she came out of the bathroom, she was really ticked off with me. Uh, She was ticked off with Bunny, too, but because I was there and didn't stop her, she blamed it on me. Um, Yeah, you know, it ruined a perfectly good day together with Ann, and um, yeah. So, I, you know, man, I was really enjoying eating her berries, but anyway, so... um, I have to make up for this. So, with every box of Ann's Berry cereal you buy for a limited time only, you will also get a bag of Ann's prunes. Yes, these prunes are basically some of Ann's berries shriveled up and wrinkly. They are great to snack on while watching a movie or fooling around. Um, I mean, she's got tons and tons of these prunes. And has been looking for a way to get rid of them. I mean, to sell them. So, again, what better way to unload them, I mean, give them away than to their customers. So, again, stop by your local grocery store in the adult section. Get yourself a box of Ann's Berries with a free bag of Ann's Prunes in there. You will enjoy them just as much as her berries. Thank you. Hello! Are you an older woman who likes younger men? Why, yes, I do like younger men. Having a hard time attracting them to you? Well, you know, come to the think of it, lately I have been having a hard time getting men to come to me. Well, if you're rich and attractive... Well, yes, I am rich and attractive. How did you know? It could be your bad breath. Bad breath? No, no, I can't have that. (sighs) Oh, yes, maybe I do. Well, worry no more, ladies, with cougar mints. Cougar mints? What's that? Yes, cougar mints are made exclusively for attractive older women with money who want to attract younger men. So, go out and get yourself a case of cougar mints and you will have the men pawing off of you like crazy. Oh, goody. I'm going to start lining them up again. By the way, if you're an ugly woman, you need more money. Lots and lots and lots of money. Thank you. Hello, good citizens of Open Eyes, Lariton, Mysticville, and beyond. It is Major 
Captain, Lieutenant, Detective, Officer Reggie, Police Spotter Patrol. Today, I have a major case that I'm going to undertake. We're talking vandalism, extortion, uh, breaking and entering, um, uh, an assortment of other massive crimes that we are going to look into. So, uh, apparently this occurred on October 31st. Uh, in various locations around town. Um, apparently people were dressed up in costumes, going to houses and uh, vandalizing them, uh, extorting candy from them in exchange for not vandalizing their yard. We had a case of somebody breaking into somebody's house and stealing a ham and other food products. And, um, what? Oh, hold on, I'll be right back. One second. Yes, what, what, I'm in the middle of an investigation here. What's going on, yeah? No, 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 it's it's Halloween. It was just Halloween. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Um, <clears throat> bye. Never mind. Uh, it was all um, under the guise of trick-or-treating. So I guess you can do that only once a year. If you do it any other time of the year, then it's a crime. But because it was on Halloween, October 31st, it's allowed. So never mind. Thank you for watching Police Splatter Patrol. Oh, hi. I'm Corey, and you're watching the Chad and Bunny Show. Hey, back again, Chad and Bunny Show. Welcome back to Chad and Bunny Show. There you go. My God, sixty plus episodes, he still forgets. I got it now. Yeah, don't forget. Don't worry. I know your mind is a terrible thing to waste, or it is wasted, or something. Like that. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway, um, welcome back. Uh, Again, all right, we got that huge bombshell that's just going to blow your mind. Breaking news. And if you wear a toupee, you might want to put some tape on it so it doesn't fly off. Because this is going to blow that toupee off your head. Um, oh, but, and, and, I mean, this is just news. This is going to just flock your geese. Oh, and speaking of news, see, <laughs> good segue there, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't you hate it when the news station teases you with a huge story, um, you know, like or announcement, and then they tease you until the end, and it really sucks? They used to do that in the 90s. They uh, tell you about the story at 4 o'clock. They say, you have to watch the 11 o'clock news to hear the story. They still do that. Oh, well, they still do, but it was real big yeah. in the 90s. Yeah, it was big in the 90s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're always going to, hey, film at 11. 4 o'clock news, we'll show you at 11. Yeah. Well, here's, here's something that's really annoying. I mean, that's annoying, but this is something that really ticked me off the other day. Um, Bunny was recently featured in the news, um, and not in a good way. Oh. Um, well, here, uh, watch this clip. Good evening, and welcome to See Our Fake News Network. I'm Sir Jimmy James. Our top story tonight, an anonymous source has sent us a video that really has shocked us. It's the grossest thing we have ever seen. We here at the CR News, that's fake, network, I, I can't even say it right because it's just so shocked me, uh, believe everything that we see and that is sent to us, without a doubt, no questions asked. Now, uh, viewer discretion is strongly advised. Um, I mean, after seeing this video, oh, our staff got sick. <clears throat> Again, here we go. A minor, and I must stress, a very minor celebrity named Bunny Owens from the Chad and Bunny Show uh, um, was recently seen in public doing something just gross. Again, Watch at your own risk. Uh, I am so utterly disgusted. I cannot believe a grown man would pick his nose in public and then eat it. That video proves that Bunny Owens is disgusting. Oh. I mean, it's just, just, just amazing. I can't believe it, but I can believe it because it's a true video that was sent to us anonymously. Now, folks, 
Did you see what I saw? It's ridiculous. I mean, this is just typical of those so-called news outlets or fake news stations. Fake or news. They show you what they want you to see and don't give you all the facts. I mean, it's just it's just ridiculous. You know, ow, ooh, what the hell was that? Rehearse, right? No, no, Rehearse, no. Ow, right. I, just, I was looking for something I was going to bring up, but I can't find it. So, all right, well, anyway, um, you know, they don't show you the full story, folks. Now, mm. if you were watching closely, you would see Bunny picking his nose. Right? Everybody does. Right, everybody picks his nose. Now that was, but that was specifically a clip for the hand from Rampu. You want to get that hand down there? Yeah. See, that's a, a new product from. This is the hand. Crapos, or no? I'm sorry, Rampu. Sorry, Rampu. That's. Uh, we'll, we'll go over that later. Um, now, did Bunny pick his nose? The yes. media took it too far. Yes, but it was only for the commercial. Now, the second clip uh, showed him eating something off his finger. Why would I do that? Well, you did eat something off your well, finger. Well, it wasn't what you thought. No, no, that was also true, but Bunny, you know, did not have it in his nose immediately oh, after. No. Um, I mean, it looks like this news channel took two separate clips, combined them together, and then showed it. Now, first of all, Bunny was at two different locations when each of those incidents occurred, and he was wearing two different outfits. Oh, my gosh. They totally made this up to give you the impression that Bunny is a nose picker and eater. Fake news. I mean, you do do that at home, but you don't do it on... I no. don't do that. Oh, I saw you do it. Well, no, you saw yourself in the mirror. Ow! Stop hitting me with that hand. I'll give you a hand, Bunny. Um... Yeah, you don't want more. I'm going to give you the hand. <laughs> okay. Uh, so our station lawyers, Lloyd, Led, Lloyd, and Lowe, are looking into this incident, and I'm thinking that the station is going to be uh, getting some... Well, that station is going to be getting some big trouble soon. So, yeah, that was that was a shocking... That was a shocker! That was a shocker. You know? Wasn't that a shocker? Yes, it was a shocker. It was a shocking, shocking. So, all right, folks. Well, um... Was there something we were going to tell him? No. No? Okay. Well, we'll be right back after these Holy commercial God. breaks and segments and skits. Get your <laughs> Get your bleep together. Too late. You already said it. See what I got? What up with folks? <laughs> All my stars. <laughs> Hi folks, Chad Owens here from the Chad and Bunny Show. Listen, do you like hot wings, cold beer, and do you like to talk like my brother and I do? Well, if you're over 50 and you live in or near the villages, you too could become a gray owl. It, no, I don't have to do the hootie hoo because I only do the hootie hoo when I say the gray owls. Oh, hootie hoo! Hootie hoo! Yes, so if you qualify and you like all of those things, then you too can become one of the Gray Owls. Hootie hoo! Hootie hoo! Yes, so check out the Village's club directory, look under club events and things, and you'll find the Gray Owls. Hootie hoo! Hootie hoo! And you too can become one of those guys or gals that enjoys hot wings, cold beer, and good conversation. So check them out. They have a great time. Hootie hoo! Hootie hoo! Oh, I love that. Can we do it again? Sure, let's do it again. Okay. Hootie hoo! Hootie hoo! Can we do it again? It's so much fun! That's it. We here at NBTV would like to wish you Happy Hanukkah! Happy Kwanzaa! Happy Cheese Log Day! Season's greetings! Feliz Navidad! Merry Christmas! Happy Easter! From our dysfunctional family here at NBTV to yours, Happy, Happy Holidays! We are back again! Chad and Buddy Show! Chad and Buddy Show! Ow, what did I do? I grabbed something wrong. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Okay. Woohoo! All right, well, we got to dive into this real quick. Um, we got to do viewer mail. All right, I love viewer mail. Why don't you go first? All right. What do we got? We got a letter. It's from Jerry's Kitchen. Uh oh. Oh boy, the villages of Florida. <laughs> yeah, hootie hoo, hootie hoo. <laughs> hootie hoo, hootie hoo. Yeah. Dear Chad and Bunny, 
I can hardly believe it, but your show is actually starting to be funny. What? <laughs> wow. Well, thank you, Mr. Jerry. Perhaps, wait, wait a minute. Is there like a butt thing? Perhaps. Perhaps. Doctors Duck, Duck, and Goose could recommend Bunny's Box Wine to those patients who have constipation. That's what I've been trying to tell you. You've been trying to tell me what? I've been trying to tell everybody that. Everybody's Get that box of wine if you're constipated. Right. If, you got, if you're full up, then you... Oh, why didn't we... Oh, my God. We should have done it. We should have done, done did. We should have did done a Thanksgiving float this year. Bunny's box wine float. Oh, that would have been cool. Oh my God! And you got little kids samples. Let me finish Those kids this letter. Be pooping all Let over the finish. place. Maybe, no, maybe not a good idea. <laughs> the holidays are almost upon us, and I'm sure you're anticipating December's delivery of Jerry's world famous fruit cake. Woohoo! Yes. Yeah. yeah, it is better than Aunt Bertha's by a mile. Hope you enjoy the assort assortment of goodies to enjoy. Oh wait. Do we, do, do we have them here? They're somewhere. I saw them. I saw the box. Hold on, hold on. Um, we gotta find those. Yeah, hold on. All right, we'll we'll be we'll be right back after this brief second. Okay. And there we are. Whoosh! Wow. Bob's your uncle. We're back. Bob actually is our uncle, so that's yeah. good to know. So is Paul. Um, and then yeah, we got some tins from uh, Mr. Jerry's. Got kitchen. two. Two nice looking ones. Yeah. What's in the big one? The big one? Yeah. Let's see what we have. Ooh. What are these? Rice Krispie Treats. Rice Krispie Treats. And Pecan Rolls. Pecan Rolls, yeah. No, Pecan Rolls. Pecan Rolls. Pecan. 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 All right, what else Pecan. do we have? And then you got another one over there. What's in this one? Yeah, let's open them. Jerry. Oh. Jerry Jacks. These are so good. Oh, I got to have one now. Yeah. Oh, what, what's the toy surprise? A toy. Oh. Well, you better open it up find out. What's wrong this? He gives them. He, give, he always gives us a little surprise. Well, the last one, there was the surprise was there was no toy surprise, so that was the surprise. Wait, you open this thing. Use your fingers. I am. Pull it apart. Got it. Oh my gosh. It's a little coin. A uh, little coin. You got money. What does it say? Let's see. This is like a little fortune cookie kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. It probably says Chad, you suck. We love you, Bunny. Oh. Yeah. Who's we? And it looks Canadian. So the Canadians love you. Woohoo! Woohoo! We love you, Bunny. Up there. And so the Canadians love Bunny. I think so. What, how do you say we love you, Bunny, in Canadian? We love you, eh? We love you, Bunny, eh? Uh, <laughs> Good day, eh? Got some back bacon on the fry over there. Hose head. Hose head. You're, You're a hoser. Hose You're a hoser. And you got some balls there you can lick. No. You got popcorn balls you can lick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Give me that ball. I can, I can do so much. Give me that ball. Oh, wait, give me the ball. What the hell? There's another ball for you. Jump drop it. Ow! Ow! You hit me on the head with my ball. Oh, knock it off. All right. Um, uh, yeah, we, okay, get back to the letter. Oh. Yeah. Oh, those are good balls. Hope man. you enjoy the assortment of goodies to enjoy. We do. Jerry Jacks, pecan bars, rice crispy treats, and poppy seed rolls. Yours papa truly, seed rolls. poppy seed rolls. Papa seed rolls. Whatever. It says papa seed. It says papa right seed there. Roll. It says papa, papa seed. seed. Can't even read. What's a papa seed? It's from him. It's normally it's a poppy seed roll, but because he makes it, he calls it. A Jerry can't seed. spell. <laughs> no, he. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yours truly, Mr. Jerry. Thanks, Mr. Jerry. Thank you. Woohoo! All right, cool. All right, I got a letter from uh, from any person. Okay, this is weird. Dear Chad and Bunny, I am writing to share some good news with you. So many of us are anxious and concerned because of the recent events happening in the world. We may wonder if anyone cares about us. Um, we see from this that... Bunny's box wine does care and wants to. Oh no, Bunny's. Is this an average? Did you write this? I did not. Oh, okay, it's taking a strange twist though, but I yeah, didn't write it. And, uh, you may wonder how is Bunny's box wine mm -hmm. going to do this? I am enclosing a colon track that can help to show you the answer to that question. No. What the hell? Jeez. Oh, geez. Uh, the, the solution. Yes, uh, I hope you will take time to see how Bunny's Box Wine will benefit you and your family. 
I hope this let. Oh my god. Sincerely a concerned citizen. Are you sure this wasn't you? That's a weird. No, it's a weird. Okay. P.S. This is oh, not no. funny. This is not funny. <laughs> P.P.S. This is not a marketing ploy. P.P.P.S. Drink more of Bunny's box wine. Oh my god. Wait. P.P.P.P.S. Okay, yes, this is Bunny. What? <laughs> Jeez. Good god. Gotta go. <laughs> we'll be right back, folks. I can't believe he did that. Hi, folks. Chad Owens here. Are you looking for a delicious cup of coffee? Then look no further than Beanie's. Best coffee in town. Nay, nay, nay. Best coffee in the world. Beanie's. He's got you covered. Hey. Hi. I'm Dr. Ed. I'm we're from Dr. Dread Reviews. We're from Dr. Dread Reviews. And you're watching and you're the watching. Chad and Bunny Show. Chad and Bunny Show. Chad and Bunny Show. Uh, hoody ho! Hoody ho! Back to the show. Back to the show. Back to the show. I love that show! Mm. Mm. Oh, that is good. Delicious. Oh, man. Oh. oh, hey, back again. Chad and Bunny Show. Chad and Bunny Show. You, you beat me. I beat you. Say my show. <laughs> well, you say it fast. That's why. All right. Oh, before we get into what we're going to get into, you want to show them that uh, little gift we got from the Mad Bloods in Australia. Good eye on you, Blinky. Oh, these really cool action figures. They come yeah. in this box. Right. It's real neat. And it's, yeah. who is this? That's Raul. Tushi and, and Raul. Yeah. Woohoo! Here's their figures. I'm going to take them out of the bag. Take them out of the bag. A collector's I'll item. take them out? No, no I'm going to no, keep them in the bag. Collector's item. And here they are. Aren't Those are action cute? figures. Yeah. And they got a training card. A training card. Wow. And it says something on the back. Yeah, he can't read it though. In the sweltering jungle hell known as Queensland, the Mad Bloods conduct musical experiments to create horror, punk, bubblegum music, and a music tomb. What will they create next? Ooh, who knows? Do you dare to find out? <laughs> Subscribe on YouTube. Yeah. Where are they on YouTube? They're on YouTube. Where? The Mad Bloods. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the Mad Bloods. Get their action figures and subscribe on YouTube. Yeah, if you don't know where that... And where can they buy these uh, cool toys? Man? I don't know. Where can they buy these cool toys? It says right on the box. Where? Phoenix. Other fry. Other, there you go. Phoenix Comics and Toys. Yeah, you can get them on. They have their own Etsy page. Um, so you can buy them. They're cool. Buy yeah. these. They're really neat. Yeah, and we got something coming up down the road, too. We sure do. But we ain't going to say anything yet. Not yet. No. Um, so, we're back again, and folks, I think it's time, <sighs> I think it's time? To leave. No, not to head. No, I think it's time to blow your socks, ketchup caps, and your toupees off your heads. All right, what's our breaking news? Okay, while at Thanksgiving, our Aunt Rita got a bit tipsy, and she dropped a bombshell on our family, a secret that our family has, has hidden for many years. Mm -hmm. Now, you know our cousin Melody, right? Yeah. Okay, well... It appears that Melody is not our cousin. What? No. In fact, Melody... Drum roll, please. Cool. Thank you. Melody is our sister. Oh, no. Yeah. So Melody Styles is actually... Well, before she got married, would be Melody Owens. Mm -hmm. She's our sister. Melody was in Owens. Yeah. Well... Um, bombshell one dropped. Kung chunk. Okay. I guess after our parents had us, they were so overwhelmed with us as children. Um, <laughs> our mom was going nuts by the fact that he was, you know, the firstborn. You were a handful. Like, you were a handful. Mm -hmm. You're more than a handful. You're a nutbag. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Well, anyways, you're a sack of. Okay. Anyway. Um, she got pregnant again with our second um, sibling, which was Melody. And uh, apparently my mom and dad just couldn't handle it. So they decided to let Aunt Rita, who couldn't have children, adopt Melody. So technically, Melody is our cousin's sister? Sister cousin. Or sister cousin. Yeah. Why did you announce this on television? Well, because people need to know. Why? People ask these questions. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We could have kept that one buried. No, I think Melody wants it out. Oh, yeah. I think she wants it out because now she's going to have a hand in the station. Not a share of the station. Yeah, she's our sister. Oh, boy. Well, you know 
Wendell has a share and Marley has a share. Mm -hmm. They don't exercise it because they, well, they, they have their other careers and lives to deal with. But anyway, so now, yeah. So, welcome to the family. This explains a lot about Melody, you know? That's where there's 18 pies in the face in <laughs> Europe, Melody. Buddy, that was like 14 years ago. She acts just like us. I know, exactly. She's she's our kin, and kin is kin. So, good day on you, Melody. We appreciate you. Welcome Thanks to for the being our sister. Welcome back to the family. Now, second bombshell. Bro. Wait, where did I put that thing at? Where's that thing? I don't know, man. <laughs> um, okay, never mind. I, I thought I had something, but I don't. All right. Second bombshell. Now, Melody has four kids. Okay, she has three boys and one girl. We're going to focus on that girl at present. <clears throat> Her name is Brenda, and she was first our second cousin, but now she's our niece. <laughs> All right. Right? It's confusing. Our family is confusing. Um, well, the powers behind my NBTV have decided that our show, the Chad and Bunny show, uh, needs a new producer. And I didn't know we had a producer. We don't have a producer. We don't have probably why. Well, long story short, or short story long, since she's in college pursuing a degree in social media with a minor in texting, really, they have a minor in texting? I don't know. That's weird. Really? Well, and again, it's... Okay, whatever. Um, she was the perfect choice to become our producer. What? Much to our dismay. What? Yeah, she's our producer now. No way. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, now, no offense to Brenda. We no, love you like fly. a niece. That don't fly. We love you like a niece. Mm -hmm. Love her. Well, now we love you like a niece. Can't be a producer. Second cousin. But how is somebody who has no experience dealing in writing... Who has no knowledge of um, <clears throat> who has no knowledge of phones like this? Um, who has never read a classic book? Um, you know, like Moby Dick and um, the what was it? The traveling pantyhose or something? Um, and she has uh, no uh, understanding of how to write cursive, but yet she's going to be in charge of our show. Really? You think? No, I don't think. This doesn't make any sense. How much you blow your own sketch? I mean, what sketch? They're not blowing nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh! See, this is what I maybe maybe having Brenda on her show will be good. She's I'd join in. We had some direction. There was direction. Right, I'm telling right. you the story. We have Brenda the producer. Oh God! See, no He's experience. Weird. She's but our anyways, niece it, cousin. Yeah, yeah. but it, I mean, I guess you know she is young and she's into all that social media jazz. But, I don't know. It would appear she's going to try and fix our image. Or something like that. What image? I know, right? <laughs> so, um... Oh, now she's over there. Oh, hi, Brenda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, she's giving us the, the countdown. What's that for? Four, three, two, one. 30 seconds, 15 seconds, it's a wrap. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Oh, you don't know what that means on television. Oh, you're telling us to wrap oh, up. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Maybe that's a good thing we have Brenda here now. I yeah, we need Brenda if you didn't. All right, well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this show. We dropped a couple of bombshells on you. hope it didn't um, mess up your hair or your ketchup in the refrigerator. So, until our next episode, Four, thanks for watching three, the Chad. 30 seconds, 15 seconds. Will you get on it? Thanks Ten for watching show. the Chad. And body show. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> you are such a moron. <laughs> you don't know TV terms. What are you talking are about? Are you kidding me? <laughs> See, I'm picking the best one, but. I run this camera between it. Night of the Living Pies, where the cream gets whipped. Rated R, under 17, MFFR.